Hey guys, it's Michael. Today is your Sunday, June 28th, second stimulus check and stimulus package update. We have a lot of important information to cover. In today's video, we're going to be going over new updates on the $2,400 per month or $600 per week stimulus payment. Then we're going to get into effects of monthly stimulus on the economy, what top economists and top officials are saying about what we should do with a monthly stimulus check. Then we're going to get into crucial economic data and important things to look at out for this coming week. But before we get started, I want to remind you guys to enter today's giveaway, the $50 free stock giveaway. All you need to do to be eligible is like the video down below, be subscribed to my channel, and comment down below the three stocks I mentioned at the end of today's video. But if you don't want to enter, you can still go ahead and get two free stocks right now valued up to $1,400 when you download the Weeble Investing app. Anyways, let's jump right into it and let's first go over this $2,400 per month or $600 per week stimulus stimulus payment. So July 31st is when these enhanced unemployment benefits, these $600 per week payments are set to expire. And July 31st this year falls on a Friday, which is a problem because states typically pay out unemployment benefits on a weekly cycle that ends on a Saturday or on a Sunday. And because of the wording in the CARES Act, that means that states enhanced unemployment benefits will end on July 25th or 26th because it will end on the Saturday or Sunday before the 30th. First. So it depends on what state you live in. According to Michelle Evermore, who is the senior policy analyst for the National Employment Law Project, she said that if the state's calendar for unemployment benefits ends after the July 31st cutoff, then the $600 per week can apply to that week. And most states have a cutoff date of a Saturday or a Sunday. That is the normal cycle for unemployment benefits. Evermore adds that you couldn't find any state that has a date that is not a Saturday or a Sunday. As of right now, there are roughly 33 million Americans who are still receiving some form of unemployment stimulus payments or waiting to be approved at least according to the Department of Labor. So the once the extra $600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits expires, that will leave millions of Americans with $600 less per week and that'll leave them with their state unemployment benefits only. The Brookings Institution estimates that the national average weekly unemployment payments is $387 per week prior to the virus pandemic. So that means once they shut off these enhanced unemployment benefits, if they are not extended past July 31st, people are going to be receiving on average $387 per week versus the $987 per week that people were now receiving because of these enhanced $600 per week stimulus payments. According to the senior policy analyst at the National Employment Law Project, she says that when 30 million people stop receiving these additional $600 per week stimulus payments, that's not just going to affect people who are unemployed and receiving this money. That's going to have a multiplier effect and affect everyone in the economy. She goes on to explain how the problem is right now receive unemployment payments, they think that this isn't going to affect them, that if they don't aren't extended, it's not going to affect them. But she says ultimately it will affect everyone in the economy because it affects the overall GDP and the money stimulating in the economy. In a recent congressional testimony, economist Jason Furman estimated that the extra $600 per week or $2,400 per month stimulus payments will boost the GDP by 2.8% and it will help to support 3 million jobs. Without this money, there wouldn't be those additional 3 million jobs. A director of research at the Economic Policy Institute said that letting this $600 per week in unemployment benefits, these stimulus payments, letting them expire at the end of the July 31st deadline would cause more job losses because there would be that much less money stimulating in the economy and we would see more job losses than we saw in the early 1990s and the 2000s when we had a recession. Moving forward, analysts predict that by extending the $600 per week stimulus payments through the middle of next year, that would have great impacts on the economy. They said that by extending these through the middle of next year, it would provide an average GDP 
quarterly boost of 3.7% and it would help employ 5.1 million workers. They said if we aren't to extend these, then we would see the economy contract, we'd see it go back and lose jobs. But if we continue these $600 per week payments, more jobs will be created because when people are paid $600 per week extra, they have more money to help spend in the economy and help stimulate the economy. By spending more money in the economy, then more jobs can be created. So they said that is why we must continue paying these $600 per week payment. According to analysts, the widespread impact of the unemployment boost, these weekly payments, is likely going to push federal lawmakers to extend the benefits in some way, whether that is a back to work bonus, whether that is cutting the enhanced unemployment benefits in half, they said it is likely going to push them to extend these because we need that additional money in the economy to help create more jobs. Analysts say that it has moved from the question of if we will have a second stimulus package to now how much are we going to get in the second stimulus package. So this is good news because previously Republican lawmakers had been divided on whether or not we should have a second stimulus stimulus package. But now according to analysts, according to lawmakers, it's not a matter of if we are going to have one. It's a matter of how much we're going to be getting. Is it going to be enhanced unemployment benefits for people who are unemployed? Is there going to be a direct stimulus payment for everyone in general? Or is there going to be a combination of both of these? Now with 30 million people receiving some sort of weekly support from the government, whether that is the $600 per week or other form of support from the government, lawmakers realize that you can't just drop weekly payments from 30 million people and expect nothing to happen, expect the economy to just keep moving the way it is. If you take away weekly stimulus from 30 million people, it's definitely going to have negative impacts on the economy moving forward. And that is not what lawmakers want right now. They want to make sure we continue to see a full recovery and see some sort of V-shaped recovery. So looking ahead to the timeline of when we can expect them to make a decision and pass some sort of stimulus measure, now we're looking at July 17th. July 17th is the first day that the Senate is scheduled to return from the July 4th recess. So that means on July 17th, we can look for them to start debating and officially writing up a second stimulus package with enhanced unemployment benefits, direct stimulus measures, and other types of tax cuts to help in the next stimulus package. I'll keep you updated on the exact timeline, but right now we know that July 17th is the first day that the Senate is scheduled to come back in session, meet, and discuss the second stimulus package after the July 4th recess. So this is good news. We know that there's a lot of information, a lot of talk going on right now about the enhanced unemployment benefits, direct stimulus payments, and now we have a date of July 17th as the day that they will return back to work. Anyways, that is your Sunday, June 28th, second stimulus check and stimulus package update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to enter today's giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner in my last video today. All you need to do to enter is like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and comment down below these three stocks. The first stock is Spotify, and the stock ticker symbol is S. P O T. The second stock for today's video is American Airlines, and the stock ticker symbol is A A L. And the third stock for today's giveaway is going to be Shopify, and the stock ticker symbol is S H O P. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull Investing app. All you need to do is download the app, deposit $100 into your account, and you'll get two free stocks valued up to $1,400. Join our Power of Finance Investors Group if you're interested in the stock market, investing, and how to make money in general. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.